Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. I am your host, Khadija. Um, right in the thick of this holiday season, uh, happy Kwanzaa to everybody, the first day of Kwanzaa. Um, and I want to uh, tell you to enjoy your day, um, appreciate your day, appreciate your people, celebrate something that has a, a, a little more spiritual meaning, incorporate that into what you already celebrate. Um, if I didn't say Happy Hanukkah and Merry Christmas, well, we got the new year coming up on us now. So I just want to say Happy Holidays, and I think that encompasses everybody, okay? But it is the first day of Kwanzaa. Now, family, I just want to talk about something, you know, because, again, at this time of year, is so much stress. You can see it all over the place. Um, uh, actually, one of my relatives um, almost had it go down the other day because her cat was in heat, and the cat was like, Wah. And everybody was like, you know, why haven't you gotten the cat fixed? And so um, it was almost an explosion right before the holiday. Fortunately, it didn't go down. And hopefully she's going to take the advice of um, the family members and to get her cat fixed. Because there is nothing cute about that. So I just wanted to make sure I made mention of that. I'm, let me get back on task. You listen, you guys. I want y'all to do whatever you can to keep your spirits up. For a lot of us, it is very difficult. Those of us who are survivors, some of us who don't do well around the holiday time, I think it's really important that you know that you are loved and that people, somebody somewhere is thinking about you. And if there is no memories that you have that are pleasant, then I implore you to start your own memories. There's nothing wrong with that, even if you have to start them with yourself. And that's what I've basically done because I really don't have anybody. And at this point, I think it's real important while I'm in this state to create and set up um, enough stability around myself that, and I have, that I basically enjoy. And I think that once you begin to enjoy what you're doing, without sounding too harsh, um, sometimes other people can be an intrusion. So I really, I really encourage you to take this time that you are not in a relationship, that you are um, in between relationships or whatever, and take that time and really, really, really work on yourself. Trust me, it really works. Keep continuing to journal. Keep continuing to write down how you feel, even if it's not every day. Continue to write down the, the, the days that you can't remember. Try to do it every day. But if you can't, I mean, don't beat yourself up over it because you've already been beat up enough, more than likely. Um, because the most important thing I want you to remember is depression turned inward. I mean, is anger. So, so so, when you see these people that, that talk about depression a lot, the one thing I want to know is what are you angry about? So, you know, you don't want to implode. You don't want to explode. I always say that. We just want to unload. And unloading means unload all the things that weigh you down. You know, because the pain and suffering that we're experiencing as a human family is really killing us. It's killing our souls. It's killing our ability to see things in the positive light. One of the reasons um, that high blood pressure and a lot of other of these diseases are so prevalent, especially in the black community, is because we have so much stress. We have so much uh, mental illness. We have so many circumstances that the, even the larger community don't even have to deal with. And that's by design. So it's imperative that you work on those deep core issues um, of abandonment that you have. You know, because, and remember that you are not your wounds. 
Let me say that again because this is real important too because a lot of y'all that suffer with shame, you got to remember that you are not your wounds. And whatever that was perpetrated against you, um, uh, 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 it, it's like you just having a terrible reaction uh, because of the wounds uh, and, and, and you're injured. And so the shame a lot of times that you're carrying around or the guilt that you're carrying around is really through no fault of your own. It's really because of the conditions and the situation that you were placed in basically that you had no control over. In fact, I like to use the term you were a hostage. And when you're held hostage, there's really nothing you can do. You know, just like a lot of people don't want to. And I always tie it in together because at the end of the day, a lot of people do not like to really acknowledge the fact that when you have wounds and injuries like this, they are going to come out. They may not manifest themselves right away. But at some point, the karma is going to come. And you are going to see a direct reflection of all the poison that you injected into that being is going to come oozing right back out to attack you or somebody else in society. And the, and the band plays on. You get what I'm saying? So it is real important. It is real important that we got to get to those deep core issues. You know, and most of us, most of us have problems with, am I good enough? Most of us do. I don't give a damn who you are. A lot of us like to lie and act like we have it all together. Sure we do. But then there's those moments of insecurity. And those are the moments that I'm addressing. Okay? And make sure that those issues that you have, that you continue to talk about them. You continue to deal with whatever it is that is halting your growth. I got to do it. That's the work that, and I, it's not that I look so forward to it, but after it's done, I guess I do. Sometimes you spend so much time crying. I remember in the beginning of my recovery, I spent so much time crying. Oh my God, I thought my middle name was just cry, baby, cry. But that was the healing that was taking place. You know, it was beginning to, because all I could see was hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt. And I had actually detached myself from those feelings. I had suppressed those feelings down deep in my soul because I was made to. The anger, uh, the, 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 um, the, the anger that I felt from the church people. Uh, or the religious communities, all that anger, all that piling up from the, uh, you know, just everything that was part of my experience, the abuse, the neglect, whatever it was, the emotional neglect. I began to get in touch with all the feelings that was behind those incidents. And trust me, for a long time that I couldn't even breathe, that I cried so much, you know. And I'm not telling everybody to go on a cry fest. All I'm saying is once you begin to deal with some of those issues that hurt you, you're not going to be able to help it. And it's okay. Because the more you break down that ego, the better off we're going to be. Some of us have real big egos. Some of us have egos so big we can't even hardly get into the room. But when you start, again, doing a self-inventory, when you start dealing with the deep core issues that you have, the little and surely, but surely, those layers of insecurity, they come off. And you begin to be an authentic human being the way you were intended to be. Okay? So, you know, I know that there's a lot of us that grew up watching, especially in the black community. We grew, you know, I always speak of us because if the outer society has a cold, we got AIDS. Okay. And it is very important that we take care of our psyche because we have such a pain body. And a lot of us do not want to seek help. And I understand. 
because the first time we decide we do uh, want to get help, we have the outer society talking about coming in and taking our children. So a lot of us are saying, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going down that road. So then that way, um, the sickness continues to be self-perpetuated. Um, the larger community can ask for help and be given help. Us as Africans, we know that if a lot of times if we say we're not feeling good mentally and we're having some challenges and, uh, well, the next thing you know, a lot of us feel that our children will be taken. And that's a real, real um, thin line. So um, I just want you to stay strong. I want you to continue to um, support um, support groups in your area. If there's a support group going on, try to get involved. Get involved in anything that allows you the ability to release your feelings. Okay? All right. I'm going to go right now. I'm going to be back a little later. So I'll see you next time in the mental house. All right? Hey, if you like what you hear, please subscribe. All right. And be strong. Happy holidays again, family.